So I wanted to show you what I found in the water right here. Relatively 20 feet, 30 feet out. And I must have went out there about six times during the summer. And each time I would find uh, an important relic or historical artifact that I belongs to Camp X. So I will donate my stuff to the museum at Casa Loma to add to their Camp X collection. Um, take a look at what I found. This is my pride and joy right here. Um, if you move the, the, the wire here, um, if you move the two back wires, the, actually the front part here um, opens and closes. That was designed, I assume, to put a grenade in a pipe. Um, I did find a spoon, some barbed wire, I don't know, some kind of cap of some sort, a piece of a grenade, I assume. Oh, wow, this beautiful knife right here underwater. It was awesome. There is a uh, faint writing on it, and it does say Sherman's Luck. There is a Sherman tank downtown Oshawa, um, and Luck, maybe this was a, a, a spy knife. Um, here are a couple of... Uh, kind of screw things to screw in the sand in the water you tie your rope on the top here and you extend it till you get to another spot further up and then you would screw this in and that's like a rope uh, so because the visibility in the water here is very bad at times you can't see two feet in front of you which I found out the hard way so they were used for underwater with rope there's a weight belt right here for underwater scuba diving, heavy. Here's a, a wheel for use for, um, for a rope and use for these apparatuses to feel your way underwater. This, these, um, this is really interesting. Um, it was attached to a belt and they're chains that actually you lock in place and you're handcuffed. Um, it does say a name on there, Dreadnought, and it used to be some kind of company that did wrenches back in the 1920s. Uh, here was another chain and lock. Uh, another uh, thing to, a bracket to uh, lock something important. There's the wheel for spinning. I showed you that. Oh, this power transformer here. Uh, really heavy, solid. That was floating. That wasn't floating. It was in the water. Um, this is my pride and joy. You move the two back wires here, and the front actually jaws move. Now, when I was in the water, um, I found an old spoon too, which is nice. When I was in the water here, I happened to come across a pipe. A four-foot pipe that was over here somewhere. Um, I tried to grab it and pull it up out of the water, but it's uh, cemented down. Um, and when I felt the one end of the pipe, uh, it was uh, exploded, and I, I sort of cut my fingers there when when I went in and tried to lift it. So what I'm so what I'm trying to say is, all these relics, basically most of them here relate to one way or another to this four foot pipe that is not too far off the shoreline and it's encased in cement and that would put all the pieces of the puzzle to the, together because you would use this to put the grenades in it you would use the string uh, these to find your way through you have your weight belt you got your chains uh, this is these I maybe they were used for tactics too that I have right here. Little spoon. The knife, Sherman's luck. Fortunately, it got dinged and a piece broke off. 
but everything else is preserved. Electro I used uh, electrolysis, I used vinegar solution. Um, it doesn't seem like much, but the odd piece of barbed wire, some loose change, and uh, this beautiful grenade. Put it in and then release the pin the pin at the end here to disengage it um that is really cool i really like this artifact um that's it so i just wanted to say i'm going to do donate this stuff to the museum in toronto the castelloma and be thankful I had this experience. See you later.